Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Gala Games price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Gala Games chat and before I kickstart the video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to kickstart the video here on the one hour chat by first giving you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out before I jump into the higher time frames where I'll be giving you the long term scenarios and and here on the one hour chart you can see that after making our lower low at around the 0.015 dollar mark we have been seeing a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the edge of structures where i have this edge of structure in blue having that as the first wave to the upside then a wave two a wave three then a wave four and then a wave five making its peak at around the 0.05119 dollar mark and also completing the formation of that higher edge of contour to the upside and if i give you a measure from the lower low that you made at around the 0.015 dollar mark to the high of that higher edge to have count one to the upside you can see that gala games is up by 229.76 percent which is a very nice bounce to the upside and in this video i want to give you reasons as to why i think gala games has started to lose steam after seeing that very nice bounce to the upside and the reason as to why i think gala games is headed for lower prices is because after seeing the formation of a higher edge to have count one whatever we expect next is the formation of a higher edge to have count two which is a corrective structure after seeing a massive bounce to the upside and using the Fibonacci, we can sketch out a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 by connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 and that gives me a minimum retracement area between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.618 and i can mark that target area here on the charts like that which perfectly lies between the 0.03323 dollar mark and the 0.02903 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i would expect that second wave to the lower side to do and once we see the formation of this higher edge wave count 2 then we can expect a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edge wave count 3 and because the second wave is a corrective wave i'm also expecting to see an abc corrective structure play out over here having the wave c fully maximizing the formation of this second wave to the lower side then from there we can expect a five wave structure to the upside in the formation of a higher edge wave count three so that is what i'm expecting on the short term scenarios and if i take a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported here on the rsi on the rsi we are trading at around the 43 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the lower side in the formation of that second wave that i have shown you here on the one hour chart and also taking a look at the indicators on the on the macd on the macd we have also printed a bearish cross which fully supports the formation of that second wave to the lower side and if i jump to the higher time frames that is on the daily chart to give you the long term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out here on the daily chart you can see have this editor structure in red and this is after seeing a very nice bounce to the upside after uh, from these low prices that we had been trading within making it to an all-time high at around the 0.85 dollar mark terming that as a higher edge wave count one to the upside and after seeing the all-time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this abc corrective structure which took us back to around the 0.015 dollar mark in the formation of a higher edge wave count two and after seeing the formation of a higher edge wave count two we expect a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edge wave count three and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave three by connecting the trend with fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that we've won then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 1.36544 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting gala games to do on the long term scenarios and also fully supporting that movement to the upside in the formation of that wave three was a chart pattern that is here on the daily chart which is a falling wedge which is supposed to give us a breakout to the upper side and after managing to break above the 20 day ma you can see we saw that break out to the upper side so a retest of that upper trend line of the falling wedge and we have continued pushing even higher and on the daily candlesticks you can see that we have very long weeks that have been formed here on the daily candlestick and this is a very good indication that the sellers are trying to take over the market and try to give us lower prices here on the gala games chart and that is a very good signal that soon we might expect a bit of a retracement after seeing that massive bounce to the upside in what we can 
term as a corrective structure before we continue pushing even higher so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated